What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction, and we back with another rap battle for y'all, which is animation versus anything. But this one, we got SpongeBob SquarePants versus Captain Underpants. The battle of the pants. <laughs> but now, we back with another video from Eddie, R Eddie FRB. Cause from the first time when we reacted to him, cause hey, y'all, y'all going crazy on my reaction to the most recent one that he dropped in such, which was the Eric Cartman versus Charlie Brown. And hey, the sides are some of y'all are saying that Charlie won with the addition of Lucy, and y'all remind me that that character's name was Lucy. But hey, some saying. Cartman one, some saying Charlie one, so hey, it's split in between. But it is what it is. But we gonna go now to the battle of, like I said, the battle of the pants and such. Got SpongeBob SquarePants, Captain Underpants, too many pants. <laughs> but now we about to check all of this one out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Ah, uh, animation versus anything. The home of two of my favorite pants levels in the universe. <laughs> the Can narrator. Narrator. Let's get the closer. Animation versus anything. SpongeBob SquarePants versus Captain Underpants. Cause, cause his underpants and such. So hold on, hold on. Already hitting us with some nostalgia about stepping on a beat, stepping on a beat, and shit. Pants versus Captain Underpants. When it comes to stripping, better stick to the comments because comments strip, but also stripping and such. Because, mm, like, he literally battles half naked, which is crazy for any type of super. Look, we already got Batman and Superman and such that wears like underwear out and such over their tights and such. We don't need one that actually just wears only underpants, underwear and such when they battle. That's crazy. But okay. if I'm being honest, when it comes to stripping, better stick to the comments. Compared to my three topping box office, hit man, you're filming the dark. And it flopped like a fish. Mm. It hit like a dock and it flopped like a fish. Mmm, nice little work. Nice little play off of his theme song and such. Mmm. Who lives in a bottle up in the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants, I'm sorry, 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 I'm Give you good noodle, you're no Mrs. Puff. Mm. I just quit, quit showing kids your good noodle, you're no Mrs. Puff. That's a bar. Because the good noodle is when she, Mrs. Puff always gives the students who are good at star and such, but also calls them their good noodle and such. But noodle as in. You're downstairs and such. Mmm. Let's go, SpongeBob. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay. Because he's sponge and he cleans off plates and such. Okay, okay. Space, what could you know about tanks? You get excited by a pile of trash on a plate. Oh, 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 laughing, but I believe this phone is silent. I'm the captain. You couldn't get a boat in rice. While we're rapping to the knees and in the defeat. Like the Super Bowl of the Champions Week victory. In the sweet, sweet, sweet victory. Yeah. Hold on. Hey, if they're going to just keep hitting us with some... Oh wait, and I forgot to vote. So far, I'm having Spongebob winning this, for me. Even though it's not over yet, I know I came in late and such, but I'm speaking Spongebob on him too. But yeah. Sponge and you still have no drip because the SpongeBob would be it to open the water and he dripping out of his pores. But he's saying about how he ain't got no drip. And I gotta say, my nigga, for me personally, hold on, let me say something. You, you talking about how he ain't got no drip, at least he got good clothes on, nigga. Who are you to talk about drip? You come in it. You fighting cramps in your underwear, nigga. Sorry. I know I'm not supposed to be biased when it comes to rap battles and I'm only supposed... And you only pick... But I'm just saying, man. Look, I know I said I picked Spongebob, but... And I guarantee you when it comes to rap battles, you're not supposed to have bias. But sometimes when you got to call out a BS and such... Nigga, what you talking about, freaking... You shouldn't even talk about no type of dripper of so salt, no type of saucy clothes wear with nigga. The only thing you wear when you're fighting crimes is freaking underwear. So shut the fuck up. You don't have no drip. Still a bar, nigga. Mmm. I'll turn this beef on its head like a crab patty, you know, when you flip it and such. But hold on. You gonna tag in Squidward and such? Don't don't be getting the well. People say that whenever you jumping into a rap battle, you automatically lose. Well, I mean look, to me, here's how I look at it. And I guarantee y'all gonna say that's not how it goes. But to me, think about it like this. If you know you already cooking somebody, no pun intended to the crab patties. Why not jump in and such? Because you know you got to defend your partner whenever he, whether he's going down or whether he's beating them and such. You got to defend your partner at all times when it comes to a rap battle. That's how I look at it. So, y'all may say that it's an automatic L or whatever to me. Honest to God, to me, I don't feel like it's an automatic L because it depends on if you was actually going crazy on them and such or if you were falling down a bit so I don't consider it that L so hey get the crusty crew on his ass get your friends on him they're gonna serve ya mm. <laughs> sandy cheeks turning red and such sandy cheeks but hey mm. No freaky. For sure. But we're still good, sir. Go around these skills, leave your cheeks turning red. So let me grab you, buddy. Open this beef on the table. I'm doing such a boy. Don't go around kids' minds. It's interrupting you. You're not doing my job well. I'll turn your hero, get you laid off. How'd you get more dirty minded after getting brainwashed? You'll find it. Mmm. Hello, what? I'm doing such a boy. I do my job well where Harold where George and Harold get you laid off. Damn, blackmailing children? Oh so, and the crazy thing is I never watch a lot I always hear about Captain Underpants but never fully watched him, so 
I don't want nobody in these comments just coming after me just because I didn't watch this certain show and such. Cause God, cause God forbid I say one of your shows, and y'all gonna wanna say about how oh what kind of show you? Stop it right then there. But I'm just saying if it is true that this nigga Captain Under Captain Underpants be blackmailing children. Two things. One, let me know if that's true in the comments below. And two, that's your hero. That's your hero. If that's your hero, <laughs> y'all in a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> Brainwash. That's dirty laundry. I mean, people do say about how the newer Spongebob episodes ain't hitting like it used to and such, but... I mean, hey, they st even if I still watch Spongebob and such, I don't care if it's like some old episodes, like the peak ones they're saying, or the newer ones. I mean, it's still going on. Cause I am not heard that nobody's still watching Captain Underpants. That's just me saying it. I'm just talking. I'm just saying it. Just you like I said, y'all can educate me down in the comments below if y'all still watching Captain Underpants or if it's still on and such. So But to me, even if animations is whatever and such, the fact is they still watching, people are still watching Spongebob of all ages, like he just said at the start. So yeah. Okay. Hold on, I gotta do my little research. I'm doing my own research. Hold on. Oh, so he's the one who could. Damn, that last, hold on, some, let me run that last bar back again. Let me run that last thing again. I mean, hey, he came back in the end to light one up. this was from a year ago right <laughs> still hits no matter what still hits crazy all right so for me if I gotta 
for me, even though at the end he did come in with a gut puncher and such, overall though, I have to give the winning to SpongeBob. Cause hey, there's certain bars where he talking about how you showing your good noodle to kids and such might be a little PDO ish and such and he talking about how what was it again the what was the bar what was it again damn Yeah, blackmailing kids and such. I mean, look, hey, don't get it twisted. Captain Underpants did come back with some punches, like I said. But to me, overall, SpongeBob got that for me. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. It's been your boy, Homer Zinky, signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up. I'm out.